First Man is the name of a YouTube channel that is managed by a person who claims to be a doppelganger of Andrew Tate and that Tate took everything from him. The individual stated that Top G Andrew Tate had copied his mannerisms, speech pattern, and vocabulary, among other things. The Romanian government has had both Cobra Tate and his brother Tristan Tate in custody since the 29th of December 2022 on the grounds that they're suspected of committing rape and trafficking in humans. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at Andrew Tate's charge of duplication, accused of copying style. Yeah, you heard it right. First man, the individual in charge of running this channel, is an inspirational speaker and has done so for a number of years now. In a podcast that was released not too long ago, the mimic of Tate made the following comment. I get irritated when I watch Tristan Tate and Andrew Tate literally taking word for word from at least 50 of my videos. In addition to that, Andrew has pretty much taken on my entire appearance. Do you feel original? The podcast host asked the first man. Yes, without a doubt, but others label it bullshit because they think he's more significant than me and wonder why he would follow me. He responded, the Tate doppelganger added, but they failed to remember that a year ago, nobody knew who Andrew Tate was. Since their arrest, Tristan and Andrew have been held in detention for a period of 50 days. They were taken into custody by Romanian law enforcement on December 29, 2022. Both brothers are accused of being involved in the operation of a human trafficking ring that is associated with organized crime. The petitions that Tate and his sibling have submitted in response to their confinement numbers are in the dozens. However, neither of those requests were accepted. The enigmatic comments that Andrew Tate has been sending on Twitter about some matrix attempting to frame him and his innocence have garnered a lot of interest from people online. In a recent tweet, he stated that there are two possible outcomes. Either they'll kill me or I'll become one of the most revered and important individuals on the planet owing to the persecution that they have invented against me. Andrew Tate, a controversial influencer who is currently detained in Romania on charges of sex trafficking and rape, criticized the criminal case that prosecutors are building against him on Wednesday, claiming that their case file on him was empty. Tate is currently detained in Romania on these charges. Tate told the reporters that he was being brought by law enforcement from a police van to the offices of DICOT, which is Romania's directorate for investigating organized crime and terrorism. There is not even a single character in this file, unfortunately there is no justice in Romania. It is obvious that the situation is unfair, he went on to say. The self-proclaimed misogynist said, of course not, when he was asked if he'd ever caused harm to a woman. On Wednesday, the prosecutors were conducting forensic searches of digital devices in the aim of getting additional evidence in the case. On December 29, 2018, in Bucharest, Romania, Tate, age 36, and Tristan, age 34, both of whom are brothers, were arrested on allegations of rape as well as forming a criminal ring that exploited women to create pornographic material. Two Romanian women were also arrested in connection with this case. The judge decided last week that the brothers will continue to appear in court for an additional month, which will keep them detained until the 27th of February. Prosecution in Romania asserts that the Tate brothers recruited victims through the use of seduction. According to the prosecutors, the Tate brothers would frequently pretend to want a romantic relationship or marriage with their victims before driving them to estates on the outskirts of Bucharest. At these locations, victims would be subjected to psychological and physical abuse while being coerced into producing pornographic content for widely used social media platforms. Since the accusations have not been formally brought, neither brother has entered a plea to the allegations. They filed an appeal against their detention earlier this month, but it was denied. While the former kickboxer was being investigated for a rape that occurred in the UK in 2015, he moved his now defunct sex cam operation to Romania in 2017, where it remained until it was shut down. He has stated in the past that he relocated to Romania because he liked living in places where corruption was open to everyone. In 2019, the rape case that he strongly denied having committed in the UK was withdrawn without charges being filed. The Tate brothers were arrested in December, and during the subsequent investigation, police raids on their residences uncovered large amounts of cash, designer watches, and even weapons such as firearms, a hatchet, swords. After a few weeks had passed, the Romanian authorities took possession of their whole fleet of luxury vehicles. Kristen Tate told the reporters on Wednesday that there is no proof that can be used to convict them. The authorities are making preparations to steal both my vehicles and my money from me. Because of this, I am currently detained. Authorities have said the seizure was intended to prevent the assets from being sold or concealed. 
So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.